Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I wanna talk about why I absolutely love the Herman Miller Aeron chair, but why unfortunately this chair is not for me. So as you can see here, we have the medium and the large version of the Aeron. These come in three different sizes. So this is the size B and then this is the size C. So first off, I went ahead and uh, looked at Herman Miller's size chart and I determined the best size for me was the medium size or the B size. So right now I'm sitting in the medium size. And as you can see here, it looks like it fits me very good and it really does. Unfortunately, there's only one issue. And that issue here is there is some hard plastic here at the top of the chair. And this hard plastic, if you sit in the chair for hours and hours at a time, actually puts pressure here on the top part of my back because it's not tall enough for me. So again, this chair is the medium size and here, especially if I lean back and if I put my hands over my head to kind of relax, it really presses in on my shoulder blades and is very uncomfortable. Other than that, this chair is extremely comfortable. It feels absolutely perfect. It fits me like a glove. I absolutely love the armrests, how you can adjust them. And the seat here also feels absolutely incredible. And of course, I got this chair fully loaded, so it has this really nice uh, Posture Fit SL back support, which is really nice so you can adjust the tension. And it just feels so, so good. But unfortunately, even if I don't lean back after you know three or four hours, I do feel some discomfort here on my back just because of that hard plastic on the top of the chair. So naturally, I went ahead and I picked up the larger size which again is the size C. So here we can see on the size C, it's much bigger chair. It looks bigger and, and it definitely is a much bigger chair. And then let's see if I can actually uh, turn the chair around. And if I bend back here, you can see it fits my back absolutely perfect. So the size C is the size for me. But unfortunately with this size C, I run into an issue here with the thigh support. So here we have that again, that hard plastic piece on the thigh of the size C. And unfortunately the chair is just too deep for me. So the top part of my leg here isn't quite deep enough to sit on the large size comfortably. And because of that, the little tendon or whatever here is underneath your knee. If you just take your finger and kind of feel underneath your knee, you can kind of feel a tendon or something there. That lines up perfectly perfectly with the hard plastic here and feels very uncomfortable right off the bat. And every time I get in the chair and get out of the chair, it actually kind of hurts there because it's uh, making contact with that hard plastic. And of course, sitting in this chair for a long period of time, again, is also very uncomfortable because of where that hard piece of plastic uh, touches the backside of my knee. Now, if I lean back in this chair, again, it's very uncomfortable because my legs are kind of being propped up with the plastic bar there and it's just very very, very uncomfortable. And the other downside for me with the large size is I just kind of feel like I'm swimming in the chair where here on the medium size, it just feels very, very comfortable and just fits me and kind of hugs me perfectly where I feel like I'm kind of floating here with the large size of the chair. The medium size just fits me absolutely perfectly. But unfortunately, again, it's just not tall enough for me. It's very uncomfortable. Now, maybe I just have some really weird proportions uh, where my legs here are short and then my torso is tall. I don't know if that's the case. I'm approximately five foot 10 inches. Uh, so I'm pretty much the standard size of you know an American male. And again, Herman Miller's size chart told me to pick up the size C, but I was kind of in between sizes. Their size charts that I could go with either the B or the C. And again, like I said, I started out with the uh, medium size, which is the B, and then I upgraded to the uh, larger size. And unfortunately, both these chairs are not for me, even though I really want to love them. I think if I had to choose between the two, I'd pick up the size B, which is the medium size. It just fits me really, really good. But unfortunately, again, it is uncomfortable there when I lean back. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately, I've sat in both these chairs for about a month now, and I actually gave this a uh, medium size to my wife uh, to use when I upgraded to the larger size. But unfortunately, you know, this, this medium size is gonna stay. Again, my wife has that chair, but I'm going to get rid of the large size. And I think I'm gonna get the Herman Miller and body. Uh, so if I do end up doing that, I'm gonna make a video on that as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, these are fantastic chairs. They are so comfortable. All the materials and the armrests and just everything feels so, so good on them. I really do love them. But unfortunately, with these hard surfaces, 
Uh, it can become very uncomfortable if you're in between sizes. And that's of course why they do make sizes of the Herman Miller Aeron. They don't make sizes of any other chair. It is because of that hard plastic material. If any part of your body comes in contact with that hard plastic, it becomes very, very uncomfortable. So honestly, I'm kind of devastated about this. I really wish I could just get a taller back here on this uh, medium size. It'd be perfect chair for me if I could just get a uh, taller back on the medium chair. I'd be so, 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 so happy. A uh, Herman Miller does allow you to customize the chairs completely, but unfortunately you can't put a bigger back on a smaller chair. And I've actually measured it and everything like that. And there's just no way that I could take uh, this tall back off and put it on here. They're just not going to line up even remotely close. Uh, so, you know, it kind of is what it is there. Uh, again, if I had to choose one, I would choose the medium size because this chair feels so stinking good. It just feels so, so good. But again, after four hours, I do feel discomfort there on the top. And then again, if I do lean back and kind of stretch out, I do feel a lot of uh, discomfort there on the upper part of my back, which is really, really annoying. Hey, so I'm doing a quick voiceover here because I completely forgot to mention that I called up Herman Miller and they accepted my return without any problems at all. Normally, there is now a 10% restocking fee. Uh, applied and then I think they also make you pay shipping but if you call them up and explain why the chair isn't working for you they'll send you out a return label uh, completely for free as long as you have saved the original box so I just thought that was something to mention the customer service was absolutely amazing they didn't give me any problems at all they were very respectful and uh, overall the experience is really good with uh, Herman Miller's customer service directly with them well that's it for my story. I hope this video is a little bit helpful for you. My advice would be make sure you actually go sit in a chair at a Herman Miller store or something like that first off and then sit in it for, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Don't be afraid to just, you know, take up the chair and sit in it for a long time if you're spending a lot of money on your chair. Just, you know, sit in the chair and tell the sales lady or salesman what you're planning to do. Say, I'm gonna just sit here on my phone or computer or whatever for half an hour, an hour, and I'm sure they will be happy for you to do so. That way you pick your perfect size. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you somewhere else on the internet.